I touch gloves, do it now. God bless. Why? Because Gennady Golovkin headline here against Marco Antonio Rubio. Here there is a bit of Kazakhs who reside them here to support Juk Mbaev. There's a right hook on the top of the head by Juk Mbaev. There's a straight left connecting by Juk Mbaev. Right hook. Oh my goodness, he backs up Matias. He gains behind what he throws. There's a right hook connecting for Juk Mbaev. There's a right hook by Juk Mbaev. There's a straight left. This one has the ability to be a very physical fight. Even though he lost to Pedro Sanani and he gave a very good account of himself in his only defeat, and he responded well. And that's significant because all the belts are held by Josh Taylor, who picked up, who unified the division last week. So Josh Taylor, the kingpin here at 140, everyone has their sights set on him. This one is scheduled for 12. Because even with what happened to him, or what happened to Maxim Dadashev, an opponent, the fact that the abuse that Dadashev suffered led to his passing, but Matias has been able to get past that mentally. Some guys cannot. Matias has. And now he's taking on Juk Mbaev, most notable pupil when it comes to fighters that Manny Robles has trained. Juk Mbaev trying to get some space. There's a chopping left hand by Juk Mbaev. Matias coming forward. Wherever you're joining us around the world, we greatly appreciate you joining us. There's a left to the midsection by Juk Mbaev. As we have 60 seconds to go. is moving enough to not remain a stationary target. There's a left hook by Matias. Matias digging to the body downstairs to Jukembaev. Mbaev pushes him off. He enjoys this. Some inside fighting there by Matias. There's a straight left connecting by Jukembaev. The two best punches of the fight. There's as crafty as Jukembaev. There's a straight left again. Uh, and that's largely in part to that strong upper body that Jukembaev has as he rips a left to the body of Matias. That is just trying to come forward. He needs a jab as we on the inside. There's a couple of right uppercuts and a couple of left hooks. All the movements that Jukembaev is using to be able to push around Matias. And Matias needs to create some space. If I'm Matias, as that happens, step back a little bit and then throw a right uppercut the way that he is physically. There's a right hook upstairs by Jukembaev, and it gets pushing Matias, driving him to the perimeter of the ring. Jukembaev just unloads a straight left. Matias comes forward. Now there's a clash of hands. There's a straight left by Jukembaev. There's a right to the body, a left hook upstairs by Matias. That caught Jukembaev. It's a big shot there by Zubriel Matias and Matias with the combination there. Jukembaya pushes Matias off of him. There's a right hook that misses. All but five of his shots have been power punches. He's 26 of 68, great 38% connect percentage in the power punching department. Here's a left hook by Matias. Matias throws with heavy power and lets the leather fly without a doubt. There's a left hook to the body by Matias. Matias is trying to wear down Jukembaev. There's a left hook and down goes Jukembaev! Oh my goodness! Jukembaev was getting clipped. And now Matias going on the offensive. Can he finish off Jukembaev? He has him hurt. There's a big left hook lighting up Jukembaev. Some nervous Kazakh fans here in SoCal as Matias emptying out everything in his arsenal to try to finish off Jukembaev. Vince, there's a big left hook by Matias. 
There's a reason why he's a knockout percentage of over 94%. There's a right to the body. Jugenbaev, body forward, under a minute to go. Can he survive? There's a right hook, and now Jugenbaev throwing back. Could he have punched himself out? His hands coming a little bit lower. Matias looking to finish off Jugenbaev. Jugenbaev though unloading. There's a straight left, a couple of big straight lefts. Oh, and now Matias might be hurt. Matias is getting hit. Oh, what a fight. Oh boy, the war grounds producing fireworks once again. The crowd enjoying this as we are here at ringside. These two were meant for each other. Final moments of what was an eventful fourth round. Welcome to the war grounds. There's that right. It started it off another right and then the left. It was a combination of swords that put down. And we are now into the fifth round. This one is scheduled for 12. That's a big round for Surreal Matias. There's a couple of straight lefts there by Jukembaev. Matias trying to walk down Jukembaev. There's a straight left by Jukembaev. Jukembaev the Kaza fights with such heart and tenacity at coming to Petro Sananian on February 22nd of last year. There's a right hook connecting by Jukembaev and Matias on face by Matias is eating those shots and saying, come on, let's do this. There's a right upstairs by Matias. There's a straight left by Jukembaev. There's a right hook connecting by Jukembaev and a straight left, but Matias undeterred and is stalking Jukembaev the 30 year old. Separated by just two years and now Matias unloads a left hook that lit up Jukembaev. We are approaching 75 seconds to go here in the fifth. Rights to the body by Matias. Matias and Jukembaev, they have a zest for combat, and that is on full display here in this IBF Junior Welterweight title eliminator. There's a right uppercut snapping back the head of Jukembaev. There's a right to the body by Matias. It is a grueling affair, and Matias now languishing on the ropes. Jukembaev trying to take full advantage. But then Matias only got a respite, and then he unloaded a combination towards Jukembaev. Couple of big rights, three straight rights in succession on the top of the skull of Jukembaev. Back comes Jukembaev, who throws with bad intentions as well. What a fight between Matias and Jukembaev. And we aren't even halfway home. That hand, Jukembaev hurt. There's a left to the body by Matias. There's a right down the center by Matias. It's been new. He has been known to produce classics. Vasquez, Marquez, several fights. And you see Matias now backing up Jukembaev. Vondikov, Bradley, Rio Salvarado. Something special about this venue. There's a right hook. John Molina, Lucas Matisse. Matias with a left hook to the body. Coming up on 65 seconds to go here in the sixth. Jukembaev trying to impose his physical will upon Matias, but he gets hammered with the left hook. There's a left hook. So it is sort of and Matias. There's a big left hook that sprayed Jukembaev. Jukembaev might be hurt. There's a big right hand by Matias as he unloaded a vicious combination upon Jukembaev. Jukembaev retreating. Battle against one another. There's a right hook connecting by Jukembaev, and he follows it up with a straight left. Back comes Matias. Matias using his range and his leverage, but Jukembaev is trying to close the distance so that Matias cannot unfork that left hook. 
That left hook has been extremely beneficial for the 29-year-old out of Fajardo, Puerto Rico. Slightly, I could see it being four to two. I can even see it being three to three. That's why I'm glad I'm not a judge, but we know. And now Matias unloading upon Jukenbaev. Jukenbaev is back on the ropes, and Jukenbaev smiling. Look at that, the fact that he is deep with a vicious power punch. He is starting, that right eye starting to swell. There's a left hook to the body by Matias. Yeah. Swelling on the face. Oh, there's a big right hook that connected by Jukembaev. I don't know if Matias was off balance, and now Matias unloads upon Jukembaev. Unbelievable action here in the seventh, and Matias smiling. A big right hook by Jukembaev. Both men have had each other hurt, and look at them go. Unbelievable stuff here in this seventh round. Matias, there's a couple left hooks and now Matias is hurt again. Jukembaev started off with a couple of straight lefts and that momentarily wobbled Matias. And now Matias going right back on the attack. And now Matias, it's almost like target practice looking to move out of the way is Jukembaev. Who is going to be able to withstand the other and have more left in the tank? Big left hook upstairs by Matias, momentarily stopping Jukempaev in his tracks. Now it is pure target practice by Matias. There's a left hook connecting upstairs by Matias. And that is the end of the eighth round. Okay, so it was, it, it was Jukempaev who shook his head as to say, enough's enough. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number eight. A referee in charge, Ray Corona, stops the contest upon request of the corner. He is the winner by way of knockout, Subriel Brownie Matias.